When one searches for the end of World War I, one of the top results that one gets is the date November 11th, 1918, when the Germans signed an armistice agreement with the Allies. And if one further searches for the last soldier to die during the war, the search result is American soldier Henry Nicholas J. Gunther, who is said to have been killed at 10.59 a.m., about a minute before the armistice was to take effect at 11 a.m. Now, while this information has some truth to it, for the most part, it is false. In reality, while the armistice signed on the 11th gave reprieve to the European soldiers, the war in East and Central Africa raged on. And as opposed to typical World War I trench warfare in Europe, the war in Africa was mobile and messy. Troops in the jungle encountered each other unexpectedly, leading to ambushes and bloody skirmishes. In this scenario, the lives of the many African soldiers or Askari who fought in the war was hellish, brutish, and short. Which brings us to the true location where the Great War ended, and obviously where the last soldier died, Northern Rhodesia. It's an unrefutable fact that the most fierce battles of World War I took place in Africa and on the northern borders of what is today Zambia. Near River Chambeshi, fighting lasted longer than anywhere else in the world, and it was there that the last shot of World War I According to most historical records, Germans formally surrendered on November 11, 1918, following the signing of the armistice, after which European nations agreed to cease fighting until the terms of the peace agreement were negotiated. However, General Paul Emil von Lethoff Vorberg, a Prussian commander in the German East Africa, is said not to have received word of the end of the war and the signing of the armistice. But being a warmonger, Little Vorbeck may have known about the ceasefire, but simply chose to ignore it. Thus, even after signing of the armistice on the 11th, fighting in Africa raged on as von Leto Vorbeck and his Askari led the British on a merry dance that lasted until 25th November 1918. Nicknamed the Lion of Africa, Little Vorbe continued his raids in East Africa with 3,000 German and 11,000 African troops. His forces entered the British colony of Northern Rhodesia from German East Africa, which included present-day Burundi, Rwanda, and the mainland part of Tanzania, and captured the town of Kasama, where it is alleged that some British troops were detained as prisoners at the old Mbala prison. After 14th November, von Lito Vorbeck and his men were ordered to march to Abakon, now Mbala in northeast Zambia, near the border with German East Africa. On November 25th, 1918, they reached Abakon and formally surrendered. After the surrender, it is alleged that von Lito Vorbeck and his men threw their weapons into Lake Chila before returning to German East Africa. However, this is doubtful as one of the conditions that Little Vorbeck gave for his so-called evacuation was that no property would be taken from any member of his force and that the arms of his officers and other Europeans were to be returned to them immediately. Therefore, it is a misconception that World War I ended in France, which was simply the main stage for the four-year battle between the Allies and the Central Powers. By implication, it is equally incorrect to argue that American soldier Henry Gunther was the last soldier of any of the belligerents to be killed during the war. The fact is, the First World War did not end at the 11th hour on the 11th day of the 11th month of 1918 in Europe, but rather at the 12th hour of the 25th day of the 11th month of 1918 at Abakon, now Mbala, Zambia.